over here. So, it's so funny. I was like dozing off. I feel like I slept for a good 30 minutes to an hour ish. Um, hi, Andrew. Miss you. I feel like I slept for a good 30 minutes to an hour, um, but I had set my alarm so that I wouldn't fall into a deep sleep so that Chloe and I could do this. And so I see my sister will be fun. Okay. So, waiting. Hey, girl. Hi. You, I look tired. I had to put a filter because. No, you don't. You look beautiful. Should yeah. I do one? Should I put a filter on? A filter would be cute. You look pretty. You don't need it though. You. So, what do you think? What should do you I feel do like? One? Let's okay, guys. The, let's I put see a the filter? options. Yeah. Should I put a filter on, guys, or should I leave it um, blank? I don't know. I might want. Okay. Do you feel so, like it? I'm so happy this worked out because, guys, we were. You know, we haven't done tea time in a minute. And Hallie, we were texting back and forth. And I was stressed out. So let me tell you, <laughs> my phone, something happened to my iCloud account. And I couldn't log in. Okay, everyone, no, don't do it. Okay, I won't do one. And Hallie, I was shaking literally because we texted and we were planning this like, okay, we're finally going to do tea time. And it would not let me update my Instagram because if I didn't update my Instagram, then I couldn't do Instagram live at all. I couldn't do it with the multiple or even just me and you. So I was like freaking out. What? And I didn't realize until last minute because we haven't done IG live for a minute. Dang. Someone said, was I hacked? Let me, I thought I was hacked. Should I do one? I don't know. I might try it. <laughs> I thought I was hacked. But I wasn't. I was being paranoid. Anyways, I That'd miss you. How are you feeling? Thing. I know. Thanks for staying up late for me. I know it's of late course. for you. No, it's okay. I was so excited. I was like, I was just telling everyone on here that I was asleep like five minutes ago. <laughs> I woke up. I had to set, I set my alarm and everything so that I wouldn't fall into a deep sleep. So, you know, like the sleep where you like are half awake. Yeah. That was kind of what it was. <laughs> oh, man. And then, yeah, someone just said Instagram was down. When I noticed when I tried to go on Instagram a little earlier, like, my feed wasn't loading. Nothing was loading. I couldn't even, like, double tap people's pictures. So I was like, oh, shit, maybe it's going to be dead tea time later. Damn. But, yeah, sis, what time is it where you are? Let the people know. So it is 11.30 p.m. where I am. It's almost midnight. And y'all know me. I'd be going to sleep hella early. Especially when I'm used to the time, like I'm finally used to the time over here. So my yeah. body's like, go to sleep. Well, I'm happy you stayed up for me. I really of appreciate course. it. And I miss you so much. I miss you. And I miss tea time. I know. We okay, haven't so, done this in like... I know. So let's explain the reason why we haven't done this in a few weeks. So <laughs> y'all, let, let us just say this... So time kind of got away from us, no lie. So <laughs> Chloe is, you know, doing amazing filming as well. I'm here in London filming. Sometimes the schedules are just really hard because by the time I'm available, Chloe's in the middle of something and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So what did we miss? Like three weeks where we just I didn't think so. say it's anything? It's almost been a month. It's almost been a month. And like yeah. every time Thursday would pass, I'd be like, damn it. There's no tea time today. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like, that's how I would feel. Yes. But I'm happy we got to do this today. I'm really, really grateful. And I think it's, it's a blessing that we get to do what we love and then still come back together and do our little tea time. Because I remember... People used to think after the ungodly hour press era was over, we would stop doing tea time. But no, someone said it was over a month. It was really over a month. It was really that, over a month. That's wild. Really? That doesn't feel like it was over a month. Wow. Well, I'm happy we're here today. Yeah. So how are we going to do this? I don't know how to, how do we add people? Okay, I so I see a go live. Oh, you can add people. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So <laughs> I see requests. 
But let me just do a PSA real quick, y'all. Y'all who are requesting, you know that you have to have the proper credentials. You have to have a proper tea time story that is juicy, that is drama filled. If you don't, and you don't want to be on here live, do not request, please. Okay, because I'm going to choose your ass and I'm going to put you on the spot. Can I say something? Yes. Because we haven't done this before, you like, oh, Ungaro Matthew's in here. Hey. <laughs> it's the kids in here. Because we've never done this before. If it's not juicy, because we, have, we haven't been here for a minute, you got to exit out because you have the control today. I have to exit? Yes, because we started the live on your account. So. Chloe, I'm scared. No, it's good. It's Hey, Andrew, it's good that you are doing it because you know how I'll just sit there and listen and let it linger on. So you're like, you're the one who has the button that goes. Okay, well, do we have a sign or something? If it gets that way, can you blink a certain amount of time? A sign, or should I, I wish I had like an app on my iPad that was like, time is up. <laughs> That's a good idea. Right? And I could just be like, eh. time is up. <laughs> oh, look, how about That's Hallie's name in my <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know what okay. I'm, but I don't know. I don't know how to do oh, should I go in notes and like try to write it? Yes. But maybe I don't pretend that's me. But I is don't that okay? Me. I think it's fine. Okay. If guys are you all okay long, with if I flash the iPad and say time's up? Is that rude? No. Oh, have the timer. Okay. Put a timer on. Okay. Oh okay. smart. Good. I, this is, okay, I'm really excited that we get to add people again this time. Thank you, yes. Instagram, for adding extra people. Okay, right. so should I put the clock on my iPad? Yeah, so how, mu how much time are they going to get? What? Two minutes. Two minutes. Or, okay. okay, guys, what do you think? Two minutes or one minute? Yeah, what is... What's Max the... three minutes? How about this? One minute, and if it's not... If it's good, we continue. If it's not good, then it ends at the one minute. How about that? Yep. Are we done with the one minute limit? Oh, I you think heard so. how that rhymed? That was good. The one minute yeah, limit. Yeah, see, people say one minute, two, two. So I see two. I see the majority is two minutes. All right. Well, y'all got two minutes to bring your best material. Okay, so it's two Thanks. minutes. Yeah. I should set it. Okay. <laughs> what should the sound be? What should the alarm sound be? What's the one that we're in the, in the morning? This? Is this boring? Hold on. No, it needs to be a. Eh, eh. Andrew says 30 seconds is generous, or. <laughs> I can't hear the timer. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. I want to do like the big. Eh, 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 right? Yeah. This? this is good. This nope. is good. Okay, so we're doing two minutes or one minute? Maybe one. And then okay. if it's good, we'll push it to two. Bet. All right. Okay. So oh, y'all, call the I'm person on to... and then I will start the timer. Okay, I see. This is requests. exciting. I see requests. <laughs> Guys, I'm saying again, if you don't have tea, get out of the request, please. Okay. Common sitting here like, did you hear him grunt? He's like, mm, like y'all better come with the tea. <laughs> Let's see. We're waiting for this person. Let's see if they will accept. Hi. It's, uh... How are we Hi. Okay, do I start the timer? I'm starting the timer. Here start we go. the timer. Hi, so what's your tea? Oh, wait, I didn't. I just started watching this. Like. Okay. Mm. All bye. right, well, bye. Bye. <laughs> wait, how do I? How do I... Maybe Can you off? X yourself out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was trial that's run. That's good. No, that's good because we're learning. Yeah, we're learning to exit when it's not serving us. That's a life lesson. Yeah, exit the premises when the situation is not serving you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. Here we go. But I I can't X them out, Chloe. Once they're on here, I can't X them out. Well, they're just going to have to have some integrity and do it themselves. Okay. I could, I don't know. I. Oh, no. How do I do it now? Now the bar is gone. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, wait. You stay here. I'm going to have to come back in the lot. Wait, no. This is the lot. It'll end. Yeah. Oh, what? man. Wait, what's happening? It's not. That's not showing any more requests anymore that I can do. No. Maybe. Maybe just tell people type everybody. Yes. Type in, I have a story and then try tapping their name and see if it says go live with them. Maybe. Yes. I don't okay. Know. Yeah, let's try that, guys. Okay, it says, hit the top. Oh, thanks, guys. You helped me. Okay, I found it now. Okay, we are going to choose randomly here. You got this. All right. I have somebody. Chloe, this is really hard to control this by myself. I You're doing my it. Sister. You're doing it, though. I'm proud I of you. I need my help. All right. Hey. hey! Hey! Should I start the timer? Yep. Um, I literally just joined. I have no idea what we're doing. Okay, oh. bye. Bye again. You can exit out. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's send this girl that's the second time that's guys, okay please please no but listen if you hi you have tea? oh my god hi 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 you got some I stuff love you guys so much love you Thanks. too okay so I'm okay i'm gonna start the timer tea. okay you ready okay yes so basically, basically okay. i go to college at western illinois university and so the tea on campus is always hot you guys it's like, okay, I was talking to this dude on campus. He was a little cute or whatever, but I got a little messy because I started talking to his friend and I didn't really know at the time. So, you mm. know, I was kind of sneaking and creeping, trying to holler at him, but talk to his friend at the same time. And y'all, when I say, like, there was a homecoming party and he, like, both of them, like, caught me up. Like, I turned around, me and my twin sister was there and, like, I turned around <laughs> And the dudes are like arm in arm, and they were standing next to each other. And I'm just standing there like, oh, my God, what do I do? What do I say? I was so embarrassed. I'm like, dang, it's like you're trying to talk to two people at the same time. Oh, <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Because you and your sister, could y'all kind of navigate it? You could be like, okay, girl, you take him. I'll take yeah, him. Yeah, are y'all twins? Yeah, are we're, twins? Ident you said? we're identical twins. You should have so had I her claim like one that. dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I tried, def I definitely oh, tried to play that role. And that was, my, that was my sister, it wasn't me. Wait, what? It was my twin, you got us mixed up. And they were going for it for a while. But once, like, everyone was able to tell us apart, they're like, oh, no, like, I know that was you. It was you. It was not your twin <laughs> sister. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't oh, do nothing, damn. guys. Oh, wow. wow. Well, let me tell you, you know what? That it's like you can never really navigate with that because it's like if you're single, you can talk to anybody who you want to. And right. Guys do it all the time. And a Literally. lot of guys will talk to girls who are friends all the time. But for some reason, when it's women or girls, it seems like a lot more like promiscuous and extra. Yes, but it's a double standard. Like, I don't yeah. understand it. They could talk to but, as many as girls they want to and sleep around and do what they want to, but exactly. a girl can't do the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. And let me tell you, you were doing what you had to do. You having fun. Keep my college. Open. That's exactly what you are supposed to do. So go, girl. And that's Thank all so we got much. to I say. I love y'all so, so much. <laughs> I wish my twin sister was here. Like, we really, really love y'all so much. Aww, oh, please. You. We're sending our love. Yeah. Thanks for having a good story. Mm. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, that okay. Was okay, okay did you so hear the cool. alarm? Or was it too low? It was too it's low. We got to turn Okay, hold on. Let me try up. to put... Let me try to... Hold on. I got to figure out how to do this. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. That's okay. loud. Let's see what happens if... But that was a good story. That was good. Okay, okay so I see some cute. more requests. Oh, all right. <laughs> I feel like this like is too like too low. The I timer guess. was too low. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's see how. <laughs> I feel like this let's is see. Russian roulette. Okay, okay. 
Hi. Hold Are you frozen? Oh, you're frozen, girl. I can't hold uh -oh. on. Can you hear me? We yeah. hear you. Okay, okay you hear. hear you. Okay, hi, girl. Okay, okay I'm going to start the timer. I'm talking to you guys. Okay, I'm really? love you, girl. Okay, I'm going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, starting. All right, the tea is, I don't have no tea. I was just calling. I mean, my job, I work with victims of domestic violence, so there's tea all the time. Oh. But that's confidential, and I can't share that information. Yes. So I just wanted to say hi to y'all. Okay. okay. Girl. Well, hi, hi. and congrats like for your awesome job. Screenshot. All right, bye. <laughs> Jacob, hi, Jacob. <laughs> hi. Okay. Well, well, I guess this timer was uh, not needed. <laughs> yep. Do you know how to X yourself out, honey? No, it's frozen. Okay. Okay, I'm leaving now. That's all right. No, you're good. <laughs> oh, she's sweet. Okay. So. Okay, so I guess I canceled the timer. Yep. Let me find wow. someone okay. else. Okay, guys, I'm going through the requests. If y'all don't have a story, don't request. Okay. Mm, I don't know who to I'm choose. I'm sweating. I'm nervous. I know. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Someone said, pin the directions. How we, okay. What should we say in the directions, though? Did you find, mm, this is so, this is all over the place. <laughs> I found someone I'm waiting for her. Okay, hi. Can you see me? Are you frozen? Hey, hi. yes, we see you. You cute. Oh my god, I didn't think you guys would pick me. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? So What's I your have tea? some tea. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer. I'm gonna start the timer. Here we go. And action. Hey, can you? Uh -oh. Okay, so I have a friend. <laughs> Can you hear? Yes. A little bit. You going in and out. <laughs> You're going in and out, girl. I'm sorry, honey. You going in and out. No. Yeah. Ah, you can't hear oh, me. Oh, we can see you now. Okay. So. No. Okay, we can no. hear you now. Okay, so the tea is one of my close friends. She recently broke up with a longtime boyfriend, right? She dumped him. And he just recently got engaged to another friend of mine's. Mm -hmm. And I liked their engagement photo. And she just went off on me because <laughs> I wasn't supposed to like the photo. So I'm like, uh -oh. wait a minute, this is my Instagram. <laughs> So, oh, was wow. I, I mean, what, <laughs> so what should I, I mean, okay, it's my Instagram, if she's my friend, they're both my friends, so I don't know what to do. Okay, so, but are you loyal to the other friend more? <laughs> Who are you more both, loyal I'm to? Both, I'm equally loyal because... to both. She dumped him, though. <laughs> Mm. And, and so, so then why is she mad yeah and she literally is telling me that I cannot like anyone's photos that she's not friends with is oh. that weird I think that's a little weird but at the same time if that's like one of your really close friends mm -hmm. and y'all are best friends I would be a little bit sensitive to the situation especially if that's her ex-man and he's posted up married to someone else I would not like that photo that's all I'm saying <laughs> oh, I understand okay well yeah it's my Instagram though I just I'm confused <laughs> so but I get it yeah so don't worry about, about that yeah, don't, I just won't like anyone's photos and just well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to interject here. No, no, no. Listen, this is a life lesson. Everybody listening, you got to do what makes you happy. You got to do what you want to do. You can't be living life based off of how someone would feel or how someone would think about it. I know it's kind of off topic, but who the hell cares? 
girl, she needs, she broke up with him. She needs to move on. You could like a picture. Damn, go to the wedding if you want to. She <laughs> needs to calm down. You did nothing wrong. Everybody do not live life based on other people's uh, happiness. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, now you're here conflicted and you're here feeling bad and she, she tripping. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Okay. Thank you for your story. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this setup making me laugh so hard. I am done. This setup is making I, me laugh. I I just don't know what to say, but I know this, the tea wasn't that hot, but that just really irks my nerves when people think they can control you just because they claim you're a friend. That's true. But also like, at that's the same really time. Upsetting. Yeah, that is upsetting. But at the same time, if she was my ride or die girl and she's like in my ex fiance's wedding photos, I would look at her a little bit side eye like, oh, girl, you supposed to be on my side. What is you doing? I wouldn't say, hey, now don't like that. But I would feel a little bit of the type of way I feel like. But can I say something? Everybody is valid to their emotions and their opinions. But yeah. I would not say you don't need to like that photo exactly that's my point too i wouldn't do that but i would maybe keep it inside like why would she do that but i wouldn't say i even have some friends who still talk to some of my exes and i'm not gonna be mad about that mm. do you know what i mean like yeah. at that point you've moved on <laughs> let's let it go right? let's let it go <laughs> let it go let it go can't hold it back anymore Okay. Oh, you see little... the person who said I have T T T T T T. Wait, where? Do you see that? No. What's the name? I don't know. It left. Yeah, <laughs> While you I do this, I'm it. gonna try to find some emails because this tea is lukewarm today. <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm gonna add somebody else. Okay. What's <laughs> this girl's name is Princess Lunatic. Should we add her? Hold on. Wait, it's, I think it's oh, adding oh Princess my gosh. Lunatic. Wait, wait, pause, pause. I didn't pause. Mean, I did it before you I told you not to add me. I was trying to help you. I love you guys though. Oh love you. <laughs> love you guys. Okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> How do I hang up? I think you gotta do it, girl. Okay. Okay, what does your email say? Okay, well, to make up for that, let me tell you something. <laughs> do I have tea? I don't know. Do I have tea? But I, I have I... tea right here. I have tea on the iPad. You wanna listen to this? My mouth was open. It's called My Brother's Best Friend. Uh-oh. Hey, girls. I hope you're doing well today. Can I stay anonymous, please? Yes, you may. Okay. So five years ago, when I was in year 11, age 16, I had a thing with my brother's best friend. By the way, I'm from London, so 16 is the legal sex age here. Just keep that in mind. So this guy, let's call him Tim, and my brother were best friends and also our neighbor. As he lived across the street from us, so he was always around the house. At the time, as I said, I was 16, but Tim was 21. 21, and I found that so sexy as I like other guys. Huh? Jail, jail, for the older man. Jail, jail. One time, Tim was looking fine. So me being bold gave him some googly eyes. What do you think the googly eyes looked like? This. And he gave me the same look back. From that moment on, we've always flirted with each other with our eyes as my brother was around. Uh -oh. But one day, my brother went to the shops to get a few snacks while Tim was over and our parents weren't home, so it was just me and Tim alone. He said to me, we're finally alone. What are we going to do about it? Oh, Luke James, <laughs> hey. What are we going to do about it? I then mounted that man like a motherfucking tree and we started making out. What? This police, went on a few police. more times. This went on a few more times over the course of a few months when my brother was in another room. Mm-mm. Then one time, <laughs> then one time Tim had to use, use the toilet upstairs while I was in the room. He then came into my room and we started getting to it. 
His lips were so soft, and I couldn't wait to ride him like a horse. This 16-year-old, are you serious? Mm-mm. I cannot continue this. <laughs> as soon as I was, oh, oh, my gosh. She gets very explicit. It turns into, like, an erotica. Like, uh-uh. I'm going to blank out what she says. As soon as I was about to put his adjective, noun, in my mouth, we heard my brother shout Tim from downstairs, probably because he was taking so long in the toilet. When I tell you, I thought I was Sonic the Hedgehog the way I moved so fast. He had to pull his jeans up with the quickness and run to the toilet by the time my brother made it up the stairs. Luckily, we weren't caught. But after that, we decided it was too much of a close call and we should just stop. Till this day, Tim is still our neighbor. Every time we see each other, we still give each other googly eyes, even though he has a girlfriend now. And we both First of all, Tim is dead wrong. What and that hell? is the story. Uh-uh. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Tim is dead wrong for that. What? I told you my mouth was open when I read it. Wow. That is no. That's a big no-no. <sighs> so that's the story on that. Wow. Right? All right. You want to read more emails or talk about our own tea? I'm trying to think if Do I have... you have any tea? Let's see if you have any tea. You know, I don't know if I have... All right, y'all. I don't want to be telling all my business, but... It's tea time. Have... I do have a bit of a prompt um, to that I'm wondering about. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know how guys be... Right. So I feel like mentally I mature a lot faster than a lot of the guys that not a lot of the guys, but by guys in general. I just feel like I get to conclusions faster. Like say I wanna I know I wanna be with somebody. I get to that conclusion faster than that person may do it. And I find that it's just interesting about timing because I could be ready for something and somebody else isn't, right? So then I'm like, okay, you're not ready for that? Great. Fine. We can cut all ties. I'm great. I'm fine. I'm living my life, right? But then uh, six months later, all of a sudden, here comes that person, pitter pat, pitter pat, knocking on your door. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. This is the time. I I know what I want now, and you know it's you. And I know exactly that this would be perfect and amazing, right? <clears throat> so I always wonder to myself. Maybe I don't feel that way no more. I don't feel that way no more. I moved on. I figured something else out, right? But my question is to y'all, <clears throat> what is a person supposed to do when that is the situation? When they have somebody come back around and say, oh, this, I'm ready for this now. When you know in your heart, no, that wasn't the case. <laughs> Six months ago, you missed your chance, so bye-bye. But maybe they're doing all these sweet things, sending you all these things, all this stuff, being consistent and persistent, even though you done moved on and had a great time. Everybody's telling me to run, and that's what I, I know. said, too. <clears throat> I know the T. So Chloe knows the T. Should I give my opinion since yes. I know the, the full T T? Yes. Well, I'm going to share with you what I've shared before. Mm -hmm. One, you know I'm a hopeless romantic. So you know I'm always into giving people another chance. However, I don't want to have to constantly... <laughs> I don't want to have to constantly try to prove myself to a person of why I'm worthy of their love and attention. And if it took them however many months to finally come to come to that conclusion, what was going on within those few months? They were hipping and hopping inside of other opportunities. 
And they probably realized that they couldn't compare to you. And now they want to come running after they figured that out. Yeah, yeah, he wants to conquer. It's like a it's like a chase thing. It's a challenge. And it's like, okay, well, if you finally do get me and I finally give you a chance after I walked away, what are you going to do then? That's the what I'm saying. Will you die down? Will you exactly. be there anymore? Is it just so you could say you have me again and you can claim me again? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yep. it's like, I, I got to, I'm probably like going off topic, but I always feel like once you're over somebody, that's, they feel it for some, I don't know how, I don't know how the, they feel the energy, but once you're finally over that person, someone said when Chloe slips the name, no, not today, not today, <laughs> this, when somebody finally realizes you're over them, that's when they come back. And it's crazy how it always happens like that. Like with me, True. with you, with any of my other friends, they're always like, oh, I finally have gotten over this. The heartache is not there anymore. I feel better. I feel fine. And then that's when the person's calling. Yep. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Exactly. Look, Luke said, we do. We feel it. That's what <laughs> I'm talking about. Guys, See, from a guy's perspective. Mm. See? Mm. That's when we text. See? That's what I think. That's truly what said, I think. <laughs> Come on, I know. <laughs> okay, you text. And then it's like, d does it yes. make you a weak person for still feeling old feelings sometimes? No, it doesn't make you a weak person. But at the same time... You don't go back, sis. You don't go back to that. No, it's a test. Exactly. Because they always want what they don't have. And then once they get it, stuff will switch hey, up. Hey, Moses. Yeah, it's like. Right? No, so anyways, like... that was a prompt that I was wondering about. Because, you know. Well, I like all... that prompt. <laughs> I like that prompt. Okay, I'm trying to think if I have something to talk about. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is good because you know how I am. I think this is why I'm single right now, because when I'm into somebody or if I'm into someone, I completely am enamored with that person and I almost lose myself in a way. And it's like you like I kind of have to make a conscious decision to kind of just stay away from that. Do you know what I mean? Because I fall all in, you know. Mm -hmm. So like ladies or guys like have you ever had a situation where you really like somebody, but you knew it wasn't serving you in the best way possible. So you kind of had to just cut it off. And it's like, even though it doesn't feel good in the moment, you know, it's best for you in that moment. And it's yeah. like, sometimes you have to like put yourself first before mm -hmm. you or your feelings for that person or the thought of that person or the idea of them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So have you ever <laughs> gone through that? Anybody in the comments, have you ever gone through that? And it's hard as hell. But it's, it's like when you look back, it's like, okay, I made the best decision for my life ever. You know what yeah. I mean? Because us as women, we naturally want to love and nurture and squeeze you and heal all of your childhood <laughs> trauma and just make everything okay. Especially yeah. you, Chloe. You have such... My sister... Guys, for those of you who don't know, my sister is the most loving and caring person in the world she's a cancer and she just loves so hard <laughs> so honestly it's such a blessing to be able to be loved by a person like that but if there is a guy so who is nice. not oh they, but if there is a guy who is not mentally like secure in himself to be able to accept that kind of love it makes things weird so mm -hmm. I feel like um, you kind of just, do, you do have to pick and choose uh, who you want to it, give your, the, your full heart to. And sometimes it's hard for us to, you know, decipher what not to, to, to do that with, who to not hand our heart to over like that. And, yeah. you know, as women, we go through stuff, we live and we learn, we realize, okay, that didn't serve me. So next time I, you know, do this, I'm going to do it a certain way. So 
anyways, I think that's a really beautiful prompt, and I Thank love you, that. Girl. I saw <laughs> a I saw a comment that said sometimes you have to be a track star for your sanity, and that's really mm. funny, but it's so true. Damn. It's so true. It's so true, and it's like in that moment you have to kind of love yourself more, and then like I'm still kind of learning to fully do that because I'm not there yet. It's like sometimes I feel like I need like someone telling me that oh I love you or I appreciate you or I miss mm -hmm. you just to feel like I'm worthy of something sometimes mm -hmm. and I know we all feel that way but it's like I'm learning that I have to tell that to myself instead of like looking for it from the outside or from yeah. someone you know absolutely girl I've Woo. been trying to be better with social media and not be on it so much yeah it i set the time limit and so i just saw one that says i have five minutes for my social media so if it pauses you know it's just because it's telling it's not because my phone's dead i'm on the charger but it's because my time limit's on so i just gotta once it comes up i'll say take it off for today yes okay, okay. so you gonna read more emails are we over the whole adding a person to this situation Honestly, it's kind of fake i think it's burn. a little bit yeah, it's not given. I don't so, know. <laughs> it's really funny, though. So I think we should just read emails. But you would have to read them. Or I have my computer, too. I can pull some up here as well. Whoa. Now this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? I don't know if it's even legal to read this. What? Is that if it's that bad, don't read it. I mean it's legal, but I mean it's legal if she doesn't commit the crime. It's called. Are you ready for this? No. I hired someone to shoot my ex. <gasps> <laughs> oh no what did he what? do first of all what did he do wait no 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 <laughs> what did he do I would like to know because okay. what led her to this point oh so it's a girl with a girl okay okay hold on I'm trying not Ooh. hold on I need to use something <laughs> Wait a minute. This don't sound right. Chloe. The f somebody said the feds is watching. <laughs> this is. Oh. Did she not do that? Did she not? I hope she didn't. She sent it three times, so it could have been a fiction story. Somebody said, girl, they sent these emails from jail. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Yeah, she said it three times. It could be fiction. Yeah. Let's just say it's fiction. Is it that bad? It's let short. Let mm -mm. No. I'm so not let's it. not read it. Okay, I see one that says, okay. Thirsty hairdresser wants husband badly. Oh. Made, made wife hair fall out. Okay. Huh? Wait, yep. say that again? Thirsty hairdresser wants husband badly. Made wife's hair fall out. All righty. She, she put it in bleach. Okay. <laughs> hi, Go Chloe ahead. and Holly. Just brace yourselves for this tea time story because it's going to have you in knee deep. One of my parents' customers for the secret story, her name is going to be D. She always was kind of extra social with my father and going out of her way to try to please him and things like that. This was an immediate red flag, so we started to make family jokes about her. We both play basketball, and her son also <laughs> played basketball. Every time we would go to a training, she would mysteriously show up there. She would purposely park her car next to my dad's. Sometimes my mom would be with my dad, and other times not. We continued to make jokes about her until one day my dad, my sister, and I went to Buffalo w Wild Wings to watch a basketball game. As we walked in, her car appeared in the parking okay. lot. I got to slow down. 
No, no, no. It was my time limit. My time okay. limit came up. Okay. As we walked in, her car appeared in the parking lot and she started obnoxiously shouting hello. We went over to say hi, but we all knew something was up with her. It was so absurd that she showed up there with her annoying, disrespectful son. A few months later, my mom is talking to a friend. The friend's husband is a trainer who trained Dee's son and my sister and I. The friend pulls up to the outdoor training seeing Dee wearing tight spandex bike shorts and a crop top that were showing way to have just come from the gym. Dee gets all nervous seeing the trainer's wife is here. Dee is all giddy trying to show off and tries to teach her son a move when the trainer is right there. Dee falls to the floor and hits her head while teaching the move and starts to play damsel in distress. <laughs> the trainer's wife, who witnessed the whole thing, is furious and has to restrain herself from checking the girl. Dee is a hairdresser and the trainer's wife goes there a few weeks later. I kid you not, the trainer's wife Oh, shit, I lost my place. <laughs> I kid you not, the trainer's wife's hair falls out in clumps, and the wife is pregnant. D made her hair fall out. Fast forward a few months later, the trainer and his wife go on vacation to Virginia Beach eight hours away. Guess who pops up saying, hey, girl? D still trying to snatch her man. D had some sort of tracker on the trainer because the trainer did not post or say anything about where they were going. Coincidence? I think not. My parents and the trainer and his wife can't confront D though because they are all business owners and need to keep it professional. Chloe and Hallie, we have been uh, trying to tell y'all this story for a long time. Okay, what y'all think? Mm. I think that she is a stalker. And that's horrible that she made that lady's hair fall out when she's pregnant. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It was just, it's not right. Okay. Well, okay. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? Mm hmm This isn't like top tier tea, but I like the tea where they ask us, what should I do? Hey, Chloe and Hallie, I would like to say anonymous. To start, I work with someone that I admire very much and have strong feelings for. However, he's a closed book. He is genuine and kind occasionally. Occasionally. And it seems like he's hiding something from me. Then there's my ex. We are friends with benefits. While we were dating, I found out he had a son, but he never told me. Hence why we broke up. How can you break up with a friends with benefit? I mean, a friend with benefits. <laughs> Can you break up with someone if you're friends with benefits? But that was her ex, friends she said. Friends with benefits. Well, she that's what I'm that saying. There's my ex. ex. We are friends with benefits. I found out. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, so they were together. Yeah, they were together, but now they're just friends with benefits. Okay, yeah. understood. Well, I was at the movies with my ex, my co-worker, who we liked the first one was also there and we got into a disagreement. Oh, it's a girl, never mind. Things escalated quickly and he kissed me. Oh. I didn't even know he had developed feelings for me. Aww. I was so angry at him, so I pushed him away. Just as I did, my ex showed up and punched my coworker in the nose. Damn. Now that I know that both of them want me, should I go back to my ex or go with my coworker? I said she needs to go with her heart. But she obviously doesn't know what she wants because she's emailing us. Well, she pushed away the co-worker, so she must not want him that much. Can I say something? Mm hmm I think she should go with the co-worker because he broke up with his ex already. It wasn't working. Why are you trying to go back to something that was broken and trying to glue the pieces back together? That's true, but also at and the same time, it might have been a little attractive to her to see her ex knock a man out over her to show her that he wants her. That might have been just saying, just, you know. And then somebody saying, don't date a coworker, don't mix business and pleasure. 
Somebody said, go with them both. Get in their bag, sis. <laughs> uh, I would pick coworker. I would I pick coworker. Someone said, why'd I raise up my hand? I don't know. It's a habit I have from school days. <laughs> Every time I want to speak, I raise my hand. Is that weird? No, I think it's sweet. But, yeah. So, I mm. say she goes with coworker because she left the ex. And maybe, you know, the... It's bomb, but yeah. but y'all say neither. But it's really hard to go neither. At, you know, it's really hard. I don't know. Anyways, that's yeah. what I have. Oh, well, that nice. was fun. Should we answer a few questions and wrap sure. it up? Whatever yeah. you want to do, darling. Because the time sure. is going by pretty fast, right? It so has, but we around. joined at like um, 11, 20, my time. Oh, 20-ish. Okay. Okay, okay. But we can still let me see. So I don't have the question thing. Do you have the question thing? Oh no. Question bar. If you guys have questions, just type them in the chat and we'll answer there. Because I don't have it. Um girl, it's now getting hot in LA. I have my really? open and I'm like, ooh, child. Can you see it's giving the natural glow? The it's sweat. Pretty. The nat the sweat. It's is, so pretty, Chloe. If you could, like, pack up sweat and have a natural highlighter, this is it. It's really pretty. It's not getting hot here at all in London. It's freezing cold. It's, <laughs> you know, just miserable. The weather is, but it's okay. And, you know, I was looking at pictures the other day, Chloe, mm -hmm. and I am so much more pale here. And it really upsets me because I just have <laughs> so much more color than this, specifically. Because um, in LA, the sun is always out. And well, I'm can sitting I say in the something? sun. Yeah. I think you look beautiful either way. Thank you. So don't stress Thanks. about that. You know, I, all that matters is the skin is clear and popping. I hope so. I hope so. We think. It looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Thanks. Thank you. Um, but yeah. Said, what eyeliner do I, do I use? Yeah. I'm trying to think what I did today. Usually I do the color, but I didn't. I think I used just a generic brown eyeliner, so it's not too... Um, oh, here's a good question. Who's our celebrity crush? Do I have one right now? Maybe. You I know, um, I love Trevante Rhodes from... Oh, my gosh. Chloe, did you... In the, in the Billie Holiday film. I he plays... Oh, my gosh. He's so amazing in it. First of all, Andre Day. I already He's I rambled. Phenomenal. I rambled about how amazing she is, you know, in that film and how you know Billy Holiday's birthday was yesterday, by the way, too. But anyways, Trevante Rose was amazing in that film and it made me love him more because he was in love with her. And Wait, no, spoilers. Just... no spoilers. No oh, spoilers. Sorry. No, no, it's not you. It's people in the comments. I'm trying to oh, hide the comments. Sorry, 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 guys. I'm covering the comments, everybody. So I would say that. that yeah. Fine. To... I think I have a few. So I go ahead. To, but I don't want to say it. Why not? Because I don't need to be exposed, number one. It's number fine. Number two, what if I ever talk to the person? Then it's good. Then they will no, see this I'm and then know. <laughs> I'm not trying to be exposed. Okay. And then what if I get rejected? You won't, Chloe. Okay. Y'all, do you hear her crazy? She said, what if I get rejected? Have y'all seen my it's sister? A possibility. Okay? It's a possibility. Ain't no way. Ain't no, no way. No, 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 okay. No. <laughs> Someone said, Chloe, we ain't going to tell nobody. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> But yes, Come on. give the initials. The initials? I don't know the initials. I'm not now. I do go on social media and look at photos and stuff, but I'm not that much of a stalker. Where I knew the <laughs> full <laughs> <in the> initials. <laughs> I said mine, and I feel that was. Did I say? Was that bad? I no, because isn't he like a lot older than you and stuff? Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to, you know, because you know what I'm saying. I feel like if you said someone that was like, because if you said someone around you, you could easily give him like that. No way. No way. Yeah, describe him. Everybody's saying describe him. Give something. <laughs> <laughs> he has a nice face. 
Okay, that's not specific at all. He seems nice. Seems nice? So you haven't met this person? Why would it be a celebrity crush if he was my actual crush? Right? Oh. Somebody said, is it Drake? <laughs> Somebody said, is it Drake? <laughs> is that it? Oh, I never said that. I never He's laughing that. hella hard, y'all. What? Are you cheesing hella hard? You didn't deny it. Because. <laughs> I never said that. Y'all see her laughing like I this? never said that. Mm. Okay, what industry is he in? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Actor, singer, or athlete? Or multiple? I Okay, entertainer. What? That doesn't give anything away. Someone says, wait, Chloe got a crush? Why would I not? <laughs> everybody, 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 everybody. Everybody's, Everybody's going with Drake. They roll with Drake. <laughs> Look at Chloe. She's, I think we got a winner. No, no. <laughs> no, I know. We've got a winner and maybe okay, a okay, runner up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Somebody said, So he dances? <laughs> I will tell you. So I'll tell you who my first celebrity crush was when I was younger. It was Omarion from B2K. And then as I got older, it was Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino. He's so nice, right? But it stopped because I found out he was married and had children. So I said, I don't want to be a home wrecker. So I stopped crushing on him. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, I have a lot of ice in my tea. No, everybody. I'm just shy. Thoughts Somebody on said Morgan Freeman. Yeah, it's Morgan Freeman. Thoughts <laughs> on Zendaya. I love her so much. I think she's the coolest person ever. We love and her. And she's so beautiful. And it makes me really happy to see incredible women just winning, especially a beautiful black woman like she is and just killing it in every field. Um, she's amazing. But Yeah. Any other questions? Someone said, is it Bruno Mars? It used to be. Me and Hallie used to love Bruno Mars. I love um, him and Anderson's new project. They're so good together. Yeah. Yeah. The full project came out already? No, I just mean they're they're like grouped together and they're two songs. Oh my songs. gosh, I, my heart dropped. I thought I missed that. I was like, no, no freaking no. way. Okay. No. It's not okay. out yet. I've been waiting for it though. Yeah. But Anyways, ah, well, that was fun. Somebody, that was said, fun. somebody said John David Washington. He was really good in Malcolm and Marie. Mm. Somebody said Michael B. Jordan. Somebody said Trevor Noah. I love his new hair. Have you guys seen Trevor Noah's hair for the Grammys? I think he looks so I thought nice. he looked really nice. I, yeah. thought he, I thought he looked really nice. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you guys' comments make me laugh. <laughs> um, I don't. Hmm, you guys are kind of not on the nail. I think you were earlier, y'all. I think the people who were guessing in the beginning what were closer to the mark. Because someone Chloe said laughing. Someone no, because of how you were acting made me <laughs> laugh. Someone said most embarrassing moment for either of you. Most, most embarrassing, embarrassing moment. So I've told this, this story before. I, I have one that I haven't story. told. Okay. So I was on a date once and Which one was this? I have I'll tell you offline. I can't Can tell you text me? Oh, you're yeah. on the phone. Because I was like, I text my iPad. Yeah, I can't tell too many details just in case whoever is watching this will know that I'm talking about <laughs> this time because I don't even think they know this. Wait. Can you give me like a hint with your eyes? Um. Uh. Oh, maybe I'll know with the story. I'll know what yeah. the story is. Okay. So, <laughs> I was on a date one time, and um, it was a glorious, wondrous date. I was having so much fun. We were just kind of 
what driving all doing? around. If you tell me that, okay. Yeah, we're just driving all around LA, going to certain um, viewpoints and getting ice cream. And we went to this, we stopped at this restaurant because I had to use the restroom. And girls, you know when your period comes early, like you're not expecting it at all. And I think I was supposed to get my period in like three days. But sometimes if you get like really happy or really excited or something, girl, I was luckily I was wearing a sundress and I had shorts underneath my sundress. And, you know, I go to the bathroom, I'm like, hmm, something, something feeling a little, you know. So I use the restroom and I see that I'm literally like staining myself. Luckily, it did not get to my sundress. It <gasps> got through to my shorts. And I swear to gosh, if I haven't gone to, if I didn't go to the bathroom at that moment, I probably would have shown through my sundress and everything. Wait, you never told me this. Sorry. I didn't? No. no. Well, maybe you have, but. Oh I my gosh. So I remember going to the bathroom and thinking, oh my gosh. And you guys know when you're like taking too long in the bathroom and you start thinking like, oh no, I want, I don't want this person to think that I'm taking can a I, shit when I'm really not. I'm just trying to get myself together. <laughs> can I ask something? Yeah. Or, or when, like, when? <laughs> no, like, I don't know when this happened. This, that doesn't give me anything going. Or. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out when this happened. This happened, this was like two years ago. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. And I remember it was just, it was, I was having such a nice time, a great night. And then that was just a, damn it. But luckily, and I still think that this person to this day does not know that I was having that whole incident. Because really? I did a really good job of hiding it. But you know how some sometimes that, you know, just happens, so... I don't know. That was oh. really embarrassing for me to know about myself. Like when I knew that it was happening, so then I feel like I was like, "Oh God, I was paranoid." Yeah. No. If I was in that moment, I'd kind of lose my mind. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't know what to think. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So. Okay. You tell your embarrassing moment, and then I think we have to go before we get cut off. Oh, oh, true, true, true. Okay, my embarrassing moment. Oh, wow. I, I've told all, like, the main, main ones. Mm -hmm. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I'm just going to say, in general, I'm a very clumsy person. Mm -hmm. And, like, sometimes I'll be trying to feel cute or look fly and really kind of stunt on the guy that I like, and then I'll end up tripping or say something really stupid or I'll snort <laughs> because if something really makes me laugh, I snort. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the humor is the way to my heart. And so I think that's always embarrassing for me. It's like when you're trying to like just be, mm, and it's really not giving that at all. And I feel like me in person isn't giving. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you an embarrassing well it's just in general because it's happened to me a few times when you text somebody and they don't <laughs> when you text somebody and they don't respond or like you oh, all yeah. were planning something and then you feel stupid because it's like that's always embarrassing right yeah that's really embarrassing and then the thing that gets me is when I'm waiting all day for somebody to respond. And then the moment they do, I like, I respond right away. Yeah. And I'm like, then I get pissed off at myself. Like, damn, like you could have been cool. You could have waited a bit longer. Yeah. And you start beating yourself up. Like I yeah. jumped, I jumped the gun. Like exactly. I jumped the gun. Like, what did I do? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> yeah oh my gosh well this was fun the beginning made me laugh the beginning made me laugh so much maybe next time we do this it you will start the live so that you can have the control of picking the people no you did great you did i don't know great. we'll see <laughs>
but this is really good. It's so no. fun. This is so fun. I know. I love you. Okay, be sure to save it because I think you can save it on your side. Right? Okay. Okay, I will. Oh, I love you, sister. I, I love you. you more. I miss you so much. I'm so proud of you. You're killing it. Keep making I'm me so proud, proud of every you. Day, okay? okay. Okay. I love, I love you. Common is like, love. yeah, he's looking up because he hears your voice. Hi, Common. He loves you. You hear? Come here. Come. Uh, he's like, girl, I am chilling. Come here. <laughs> you want to see if I can get him to come? Come here. Come, come here, big boy. I have a treat. I have a treat. <laughs> you have to actually give him a treat. Though. No, it's like, it's, he knows you're lying to him. No, he's looking at me like, and it's hot, so he's like, come here. Come here. Oh, wow. Come in. Come Aww. here, good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay. Yay. Hi, Hi come in. Hi. Oh. Oh, I miss him he's so tired. much. I'm surprised. Yeah, he's tired. Are you crying? No, no, no. I had a lash fall. I was just picking my lash shot. No. You're not crying? Nope, nope. Okay. Someone said common scary. Okay, everybody who thinks common is not attractive. Yeah. Get off of here if you want to insult common. Bye-bye. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I love you. Love you. Thanks, guys, for joining us. And we will be back again together.